the, the linear difference equation with constant coefficient can be categorized as a homogeneous and non-homogeneous difference equation. So what is the general form? General form is a f of e y x equal phi x. So if phi x equal to 0, then obviously this one is a homogeneous f of e y x y x equal 0, then this one is a homogeneous homogeneous as we discussed earlier, homogeneous. Homogeneous. Now we discuss some properties of a solution of a homogeneous equation. So what is the first property? First property is uh, if uh, yx, yx equal f1x, f1x is a solution of a homogeneous equation is a solution of homogeneous equation, homogeneous equation, equation, then, then yx equal c1 f1x is also a solution, is also a solution, also a solution, where c1 with the constant, c1 with the, if here we denote c1 with the what, c1 is a constant, constant, constant. Similarly, what is the second property of a homogeneous equation if uh, y x equal if y x equal f1 x comma f2 x y x equal f2 x f2 x up to y x equal f n x be the n linearly independent with the n independent solution n independent solution independent solution independent solution of homogeneous equation homogeneous equation homogeneous equation then y x equal y x equal c1 f1 x plus c2 f2 x c2 f2 x f2 x up to c n f n x is also a is also also a solution of solution of homogeneous equation homogeneous equation where c1 where c1 c2 up to cn are the constant or constant so we are going to use these result to find out the solution of a linear difference equation with constant coefficient that's why here we study uh, we write these properties so already we studied these properties in a case of our differential equation. So now what is the third property we discussed about a third property? 
which one is also important for the study of a solution of a to find out the solution of a linear difference equation with constant coefficient if uh, y x equal u x with the b be the particular solution with the particular particular solution of non homogeneous equation non homogeneous equation non homogeneous equation non homogeneous equation equation then then y equal y x equal c1 f1 x plus c2 f2 x up to cn fn x plus u x u x with the general solution of a non homogeneous equation with the general general solution of non homogeneous equation non homogeneous equation non homogeneous equation equation where c1 f1 x c2 f2 x up to it be right here where c1 f1 x plus c2 f2 x up to cn fn x is the solution of is the solution of solution of corresponding 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 homogeneous equation corresponding homogeneous equation now what is the meaning of this one corresponding homogeneous equation meaning of this one is i be right uh f of e f of e y x equal phi x then this one is a non homogeneous obviously phi x does not equal to zero then this one is a non homogeneous so corresponding homogeneous equation of this equation is about f of e y x equal zero this one is a corresponding homogeneous equation so this part uh, if we talk about uh, this part this one is a solution of a corresponding homogeneous equation what is the meaning of this one f1x is a solution of a homogeneous equation f2x is a solution of a homogeneous equation fnx is a solution of a homogeneous equation then c1 f1x plus c2 f2x up to cn fnx is also a solution of a corresponding homogeneous equation so in general how we write uh, this solution a uh, solution of a non homogeneous equation so if we closely observe this general solution of a non homogeneous equation if we write this one is a equation 2 and previous one is a equation number 1 means a solution of a only homogeneous equation if we denote this one is equation number 1 so there are two parts uh, there are two part of the solution of a non homogeneous equation if we write y x equal y x equal what c1 f1 x plus c2 f2 x c2 f2 x up to cn f n x plus u x u x so this part 
of the solution of a non general solution of a non homogeneous equation is known as a complementary function this one is called cf complementary function complementary function complementary function complementary function complementary function and this part is called particular integral particular integral particular integral particular integral so any general form of a linear difference equation with constant coefficient if the that difference equation have a general solution then that general solution have a two parts first part is a complementary function and second part is a particular integral so here if we try to summarize if uh, f of e y x equal phi x is any non homogeneous difference equation then general solution of uh, this one then then general solution general solution of a wave equation general solution of a wave equation a wave equation equation can be written as like this y x equal complementary function complementary function c f c for complementary f for function plus particular integral so next we are going to discuss how we find the complementary function and particular integral in different cases if a difference a given difference equation is a linear difference equation with constant coefficient so now our aim is to find out a complementary function and particular integral so next we are going to discuss about one by one what are the different cases to find out a complementary function and particular integral so uh, as in a previous lecture we discuss about a, a general form of a linear difference equation with constant coefficient so general form of a linear difference equation with constant coefficient is a function of e y x equal phi x and general solution of uh, this uh, linear difference equation with constant coefficient can be divided into a two part complementary function and particular integral so solution is a y x equal complementary function and particular integral now how we find a complementary function and how many cases uh, how many possibilities will occur during the during find uh, during to find out a complementary function so how we find the complementary function first of all uh, we find the complementary function corresponding homogeneous equation of a given difference equation so suppose this one is a given difference equation 0 1 first one this one is a given difference equation what is the corresponding uh, homogeneous equation corresponding homogeneous equation is a f of e equal f of e y x equal 0 so what is the solution of uh, this uh, homogeneous equation just we put what f of e equal 0 f of e equal 0 since f of e is a function of a uh, uh, e and what is the if we closely observe function of a e and what is the degree of a that function the degree of a that function is a n this means there exists exactly n root that exists exactly n root means uh, if we solve f of e equal to 0 there exist uh, there occur n roots of uh, this function f of e equal to 0 because e is a polynomial of a degree n here for sake of a simplicity here we write f of e is a what polynomial of a degree n polynomial 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 of degree n polynomial of degree n 
So as we know that uh, according to fundamental theorem of algebra, there is a polynomial of a degree n, then there exists exactly n roots. So suppose the root of a root of a f of e equal to 0. We write this one is equation number 2 and this one is equation number 3. And if we solve f of e equal to 0, which one is a polynomial of a degree n, then this one have a exactly n roots. And suppose these root be the e1, e2, e3 up to en. en. There are exactly n roots. So now if there is exactly n roots, so the roots may be the real, may be the complex. So if the roots are real or complex or a mix of these real and some roots are real and some roots are complex. So one by one we discuss about these cases. So case one is a what? Here if we write a case one, case one, case one, case one is a what? All the roots, all roots means e1, e2, e3, en are distinct and real. All roots, all roots are real and distinct, real and distinct, distinct, distinct. Then what is the complementary function? Then, then complementary function CF equal CF equal C1 e1 to power x plus c2 e2 to the power x up to cn en to power x is a complementary function. Now case second suppose some root uh, all the roots are real but some roots are equal. So case 2 in case 2, what will happen? Suppose here for sake of a simplicity, we assume that two roots, uh, all roots are real. All roots are real. All roots are real. Real. But for sake of a simplicity, here we assume that E1 equal to E2 but two roots are equal e1 equal to e2 and suppose this one equal what this one equal e e so and all of the roots are distinct means e3 e4 e4 they are distinct up to en they are distinct then in this case complementary function is a complementary function become c1 plus c2 x into e to power x plus c3 e3 x up to cn en to power x. This one is a complementary function. Now case third if we discuss the case third in the next page, case third, if we talk about a case third, case third, then what will happen here? We write here case third. So what is the case third? Case third. So here some roots are complex and some roots are real. So here if we write roots are roots are complex complex as well as real as well as as well as real means some roots are complex and some roots are real. And also we know that if the complex root will occur, then 
it will always occur in pair means uh, you cannot say ki alpha plus i beta is a nonlinear root always alpha plus i beta with a root then alpha minus i beta is also a root means always complex root occur in a pair alpha plus minus i beta like this one so for sake of a simplicity again here we assume that two roots first root e1 be the complex root and this one is alpha plus i beta i beta and second root e2 is also a complex root and this one is alpha minus i beta and here we assume that all other root be the real roots means uh, e3 be the real roots e4 be the real roots and all are distinct maybe they are equal but here we assume that they are distinct so what is the complementary function in this case complementary function become complementary function become yx means a complementary function you may also write up yx equal uh, yx equal complementary function equal c1 here we write up r to power x c1 uh c1 cos theta x c1 cos theta x plus c2 sin theta x sin theta x plus as usual means uh, uh c3 e3 to power x c4 c4 e4 to power x up to cn en to power x where r equal where r equal under root alpha square plus beta square r equal under root alpha square plus beta square alpha square plus beta square and theta equal tan inverse tan inverse beta by alpha beta by alpha so maybe the some real roots are also equal then that case suppose e3 and e4 are equal then c3 plus c4x inside the bracket into e3 to power x plus c5 e5 to power x up to c n e n to power x in uh, this way be able to write the complementary function and last one is a uh, what case 4 case 4 so if we discuss about a case 4 means a uh, complex root is also repeated means uh, there there is an involvement of a real as well as complex root but complex root is also repeated so if complex root a root is also repeated then this will occur either there is a four root or eight root like this one so here we assume that alpha means a e1 e2 e3 e4 these are the roots means a e1 here we assume that uh roots are uh roots are complex complex and real real but but complex root means uh, but there is a repeated complex root but there is there is repeated complex root repeated complex root repeated complex root complex root so what is the meaning of this one means e1 equal e2 equal alpha plus i beta i beta and e3 equal e4 equal alpha minus i beta 
and all other roots means e5, e6, e6 up to e n are the real roots. These are the real roots. Only there is four complex roots. So what is the complementary function in this case? Complementary function become complementary function become what? Complementary function become r to power x into c1 plus c2 x c2 x inside cos theta x cos theta x plus c3 plus c4 x c4 x sin theta x sin theta x plus for the real roots what will happen c5 e5 to power x plus c6 e6 to power x up to c n e n to power x maybe the sum real root also repeated then in that situation accordingly as a we discuss in a case 2, we write the complementary function of a real root of a repeated real root. Means uh, suppose e5 and e6 are equal, then c5 plus c6x into e5x, e5 to power x and up to c and e n to power x. So mainly these are the four categories, but uh, if a uh, you may combine you may also combine the case 2 and case 4 means a uh, real root is also repeated complex root is also repeated then according to the case 2 and case 4 you may able to write the complementary function so this one is a way how we write a complementary function so here let us take some example to find out a what to find out a complementary function of a some difference equations. So let us take two example. Example one, suppose here we take example, very simple example here, example one, example one, y x plus three, y x plus three minus two, y x plus two, minus y x plus 1 x plus 1 plus 2 y x 2 y x equals 0. So this one is already a in a uh, this one is a already homogeneous equation. So there is a no need to write a corresponding homogeneous equation because this one is a already in a uh, already a homogeneous equation. So if we write this one in term of a what in term of a shift operator then this can be written as a eq yx so eq yx here we write uh, in this way solution here we write a solution and try to write in term of a shift operator then this one is a eq yx minus 2e square yx minus e of a yx plus 2 of a yx equal 0. So here if we write a function of a e then function of a e is a what? eq minus 2e square 2e square minus e plus 2 y x equal 0. So if we try to write in a standard form, this one is a function of a e, function of a e y x equal 0. So how we find a complementary function? Just we put f e equal to 0. To find out a complementary function, we put f of e equal to 0 and simplify this one then e q minus 2 e square minus e plus 2 equal what? 0. 
So, if we factorize this uh, polynomial, then what is the factor? Factor is a uh, e minus 1, e plus 1, and e plus e minus 2. So, what is the value of e? If we solve this uh, polynomial, this equation, then e equal what? E equal 1 minus 1 and 2. So, if we closely observe this expression, then all roots are what? All roots are real and distinct. Then what is the complementary function? In case of uh, rule are dis uh, roots are distinct and real, then complementary function is a complementary function is a complementary function equals c1 e1 to power x means 1 to power x plus c2 minus 1 to power x plus c3 to the power x. So, this one is a complementary function. Since this one is a homogeneous difference equation, so what is the particular integral? Particular integral 0. So, what is the solution? Solution become yx equal c1 1 to power x plus c2 minus 1 to power x plus c3 to the power x. So, this one is a what? This one is a solution of uh, this difference equation as well as complementary function of uh, this difference equation. Since this one is a homogeneous equation, then this one is also a solution of uh, this difference equation, given difference equation. So, this one is a situation of a what? This one is a situation of a, if roots are real and distinct. So, here, uh, here next we are going to take one another example and try to uh, find out the complementary func function if the roots are complex roots. So, we take uh, one another example and suppose that example is uh, this one means uh, y x equal uh, example 2, example 2, here we take uh, example 2. So, solve solve difference equation is a y x plus 2 minus y x plus 1 y x plus 1 plus y x equal 0 y x equal 0. So, what is the solution of uh, this one? Solution of uh, this one. So, first we write in a standard form. So, to write in a standard form, first we write this one in a term of a shift operator. So, what is the equivalent term of a first term? In the, we try to write in term of a shift operator. The first term become e square yx minus eyx eyx plus yx equal what? 0. So, in this case, this one is also a homogeneous difference equation. So, if we equate the yx, then this become e square minus e plus 1 yx equal what? 0. This means this one is a function of a e yx equal 0. So, to find out a complementary function, just we put what? Just we put f of e equal 0. This means e square minus e plus 1 equal to 0. So, if we simplify this one, then what is the values of a e? The values of a e is a what? This one is a equal what? Minus b ax square plus bx plus c. We compare with the ax square plus bx plus c and try to find out the solution of this one minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 ac upon 2a then this become 1 by 2 plus minus under root 3 by 2 i. So, here uh, means uh, equal this one. This means 
what is the value for e1 first root become 1 by 2 plus under root 3 by 2 under root 3 by 2 i this one is your first root and second root is what e2 equal 1 by 2 minus under root 3 by 2 i. So, what is the value of r and theta? r equal alpha square plus beta square. So, if we try to find out the value of r, r equal, if we compare here alpha plus i beta. So, what is the value of alpha? Alpha r equal under root under root what alpha square alpha square means 1 by 2 square means 1 by 4 plus under root 3 by 2 means 3 by 4 so this become 4 by 4 this means r equal what r equal 1 similarly theta equal if we try to find out a theta then theta equal tan inverse tan inverse beta by alpha so if we put the value of a beta root 3 by 2 and alpha equal 1 by 2, then what is the value for theta? Theta equal this become tan inverse, tan inverse under root 3, under root 3 and this one equal what? This one equal pi by 3. As we know that the value of tan inverse root 3 is a pi by 3. So, theta equal what? Pi by 3, pi by 3. So, what is the complementary function? If we write here complementary function, if we write here complementary function, then complementary function become what? r to power x, r to power x means uh, 1 to power x because the value of r is a 1, 1 to power x, c1 inside c1 cos theta x pi x by 3 pi x by 3 plus c2 sin sin pi by 3 x. So, this one is a what? This one is a complementary function. Since right hand side equal to 0 means this one is a only a homogeneous difference equation. So, what is the solution? Solution in this case become what? Solution in this case become y x equal y x equal 1 to power x means uh, 1. So, you may also write uh, in term of uh, this one 1 to power x here c1 cos pi x by 3 pi x by 3 plus c2 sin pi x by 3 pi x by 3. So, this one is a word, this one is a solution this one in the solution of a solution in this case general solution in this case general solution of a this difference equation so next we are going to discuss about a particular integral